how's it going everyone welcome back my name is Riley thank you for joining me this week if you don't know who I am appreciate it if uh, you're one of my long-term subscribers thanks for sticking around and this week we're gonna take a quick peek at a species I don't often share and that would be my adult Morelia Bradley. I'm getting ready to do some cooling down for the breeding season so I thought perfect time to take them out let you guys see how I'm gonna attempt this and take a look at the animals themselves so let's jump right in before we get going if you hear any background noise I do have mice breeding in here so if you hear that or any squeaking uh, I'm breeding some mice these days as well so uh, apologies for any background noise all right so this is a vision cage this is an empty cage of mine that is six feet by 28 inches by 18 tall my savannah monitor used to live in here he has since uh, passed away of old age and this has been sitting empty what I've done is I've laid down some chip style shavings a bowl of water and I've got myself this nice Eva Polar, you can see the brand, uh, mini AC unit. Um, you just plug this either straight into an outlet and it can run, or you purchase the optional battery pack, which I did. So every every day I'll recharge it and it'll run for about eight, nine hours at night on this. Has three settings. Um, you just fill it up in the back here comes with a little spout for easy pouring the reservoir can hold for an entire run so you'll probably if you're gonna do this like I am expect to charge your battery every day and uh, refill your reservoir every day but we're gonna give it a shot because at night this room especially down here is getting to 60 degrees that was graceful buddy and this cage will be ambient. I have a hot spot over there that's getting to about 85 to 87, and it's only gonna be on for about eight hours a day, and then it'll shut off. So the animals will get as cold as this room gets, plus how much colder I get this particular cage with this AC unit, but then still be able to warm up during the day. So this will be the first realistic shot I have with my current setup to give these guys a good shot at breeding. Um, all the other attempts I've done this far have been pretty poor attempts, unsuccessful obviously. So with any luck, I will uh, hopefully breed my first Morelia Bradley. So we shall see some Lazic line bridles. So now that you've kind of seen the bare bones of how I'm planning on letting them go down for the winter and what I'm going to do to get them extra cold, let's take a peek at the animals themselves. All right, first up, I'm going to show you this boy. This is the male. He's about six feet long, two and a half inches diameter, maybe two eats small and medium rats every two three weeks depending on the season and uh, he's officially been off food for a few weeks now he's really cold to the touch because he's on the bottom uh, the bottom bin here where he lives most of the year so he's experiencing those 60 degree nights for sure the reason I'm pushing these guys particularly cold for those of you who don't know Morelia Bradley where they live in uh, the center of Australia is a harsh desert at night. It gets really cold and that seems to be pretty crucial to their, their breeding process for males. It's crucial for producing sperm for females for uh, producing ovum. So that uh, is the main reason also why I have failed to breed them thus far. Um, haven't really been able to push them that cold until now. So without further ado, we're going to put this dude into that big massive enclosure so you can start getting lost and settled in and then we'll bring out the female so you can see that and uh, I'll MacGyver some hides for them I'd imagine they want some shelter so we'll do that alrighty alright so let him go in if he wants to right now he's kind of being nervous 
In the meantime, I forgot to point out that I have these Govi readers in here. These have been amazing to really see exactly what temperatures are doing. These are the, uh, the wireless kind, so I can leave this in here and monitor it at any time to see how cold it's getting in here. So maybe I'll want it up here actually. But that's going to be essential for seeing if I'm able to get them cold enough this season. But anyway, look, he's tiny in a massive enclosure. That's cool. He's probably going to take a crap the first thing. Oh well. Let's take a look at this big, beautiful female who he's going to meet again. Alright. Easier said than done trying to get this big girl in frame, but this is my big, beautiful Lazic line, Brettles Python. Both of these animals are produced by Stephen Katz, by the way. I should mention that. Shout out to Stephen, SBK Reptiles. These animals are both uh, 2016s, so they're six years old. This girl will take large jumbo rats, whatever. She's not picky. Quail, chicks, she's she's a horse. Good lord, she's heavy. Um, I'd say she's maybe eight pounds, probably seven and a half feet long. Big, beautiful girl. The rest of the year when it's nice and warm, her red color is much more bright but those blue eyes are still there if you can see oh no we're moving too much anyway oh my gosh there's a handful of snake right here now for anybody else who was curious if you've heard that carpets are nasty and mean and stuff and you're concerned about that you know misinformation being true you could always jump into brettles brettles are notoriously gentle natured and, and mellow animals although these were not at, at first but they've chilled out in time so you saw how little that male was now let's uh, show her off for size comparison now you know all right let's put her in too Real well. You gotta go in. I'm gonna just plop you in there, sweetheart. Oh, that was a workout. This is all new for them. New territory, new smells, new space. So, I imagine they're gonna be quite busy and active all day today, exploring their new surroundings, encountering one another. Pretty excited to see this this season's really effort <laughs> effort induced attempt uh, I guess I haven't really put in the effort or had the space for putting in the effort years prior but I'm hopeful this year we can do this so this would be the fourth species of, of carpet python I would have bred should I be successful there's a good shot of those blue eyes found that I have this massive tortoise hide thing. This ought to be plenty big for the two of them to canoodle in. So we're going to pop that in there and give them a spot to chill out. Alright, hides in place. AC units in place for later tonight. Snakes are snaking and getting to know one another and their space. So now we just kind of leave them to it, monitor them daily got their cards here I'll probably add my signature piece of blue painters tape and jot down today's date and mark down any breeding intros notes things like that copulations witnessed etc and uh, see where we go so hopefully these two like it we will see all right well, that's going to be it for this week. Figured I'd just keep it short again, show you guys uh, my pair of adult Bradley, trying to breed them, giving them a pretty serious shot this year, and uh, 
fingers crossed, see what happens. Um, you guys see how I do it. Feel free to drop any questions in the comments below if you have any. Uh, shout out to, uh, to Steven for the wonderful snakes so many years ago that I've had. Shout out to Lucas for the excellent idea on that AC unit. And then uh, last but not least, don't forget to become a US ARC member. Go check out usarc.org. It's really easy to sign up, become a member, donate. It's all very cut and dry, very clearly laid out there. So go check that out, sign up, donate, become a member. The most important thing is to have a very strong membership. A large number of, of members is important. So there's a very small percentage of reptile keepers in this country that are actually members and we can fix that. And that will only aid in all, all of our legislative battles that continue to pop up in every single state. There's another one popping up in New York right now. Uh, it just doesn't seem to end. So the larger the membership, the better. Let's go help US Arc fight, uh, fight the good fight for us. And uh, thank you. Appreciate y'all hanging out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.